Okay then guys, this is a little user guide here for this C4 Maths uh, Revision live worksheet. This is a live uh, worksheet. I'll be putting it up on Google Play in a few days time. So look out for it. All you need to do is type in a keyword search for C4 Maths for example. And then it should pop up hopefully. Um, basically when you type in any mathematical topic and a doggy icon appears, um, it's more than likely one of my um, apps. Well, the dog's name is Freddy, by the way. So when you see a Freddy, that'll be one of my apps, and it can take you to my developer page via that route. Um, this particular live worksheet is on C4 Maths for the OCR examination board, and we go through the winter and summer 2011 examination papers. And here they are arrayed here, question by question, for you to have a go. We can just slide along and choose any question you want to have a go at. When you've had a go at the question, it ticks. Uh, so that you can show that you've accessed the solution, keep a track of your progress and let you know what you haven't had a look at yet. And you can reset of course, so if you want a fresh go of any particular row or all of them, then just click on reset any row or all here. Um, when you go through an examination, just a little thought about that, it's a good idea to have a look at the paper. Always a good practice to have a good look at the paper for a few minutes at the beginning of an examination. When you, there, there's a couple of benefits in particular that stand out when you have a look at the paper. The first thing is it gives your mind a chance to subconsciously view the paper and the questions so that even though you try other questions, probably your brain is subconsciously working out solutions to the questions you've also looked at and yet not started properly. So it is a good idea to have a look at the paper and also um, you can choose the questions you feel comfortable doing, especially at the start. So you may want to get off to as good as possible starts, which is probably the best thing to do, and get some good marks under your belt by choosing questions that you find uh, relatively easy or easier than the other questions. And any questions that are awkward or long-winded or you're not quite so confident at, well, these would be better or more appropriate to leave toward the end of the examination. So that's just a couple of little thoughts on general technique when you go through an examination. So always put aside a couple of minutes at the beginning to flick through an exam paper. So here's the paper then. As I say, uh, you can click on the video solutions when you had a go at the questions. The idea, of course, is to have a go at the questions first. If you prefer to work on the PDFs directly, then you can access them here, print them off. This is the user guide, of course. And you can email me any questions you've got on C4Maths. Just give us an email, send us a buzz uh, with a question you've got. Append a picture to the email and have a look at it. And hopefully I'll write up some bespoke uh, YouTube video solutions for those for any questions or suggestions on future worksheets as well. All these things are always appreciated of course. There's uh, resets as I say you can reset any row or reset all just to keep a track of your progress and have a fresh go fresh start if you want. There's going to be an array of tools so I'll probably put in a differentiator, an integrator and I'll probably put in a little plotter as well. An array of tools that you might find handy when you're doing problems of your own to check the solutions thereof. I'll also put in the apps, a recommended app relevant to C4 Maths topic and I'll probably put in my developer page uh, link as well there. Here's the PDFs and any extras between now and the time I put up on Google Play and I'll be sure to include those as well of course anything useful that I can think of. So it just remains for me to wish you well if you've got a C4 examination in the near future guys I hope it goes well and I hope you work hard prepare as well as you possibly can and one last thing about an examination always stay to the very end of an examination to get eke out every last possible mark so if you've done checked every possible question if you've gone through all the questions then start double checking the things that you need to double check and then once you've double checked them, triple check them. And of course if there's parts of questions you can't do, it doesn't mean to say that there may not be other parts of the question that you can do because questions can often be structured uh, with that thought in mind. So have a good look at questions you haven't been able to complete to see if there's not particular sections that you still might be able to do in those questions. So it just remains for me as I say to wish you all the best with any C4 examination you come and uh, get uh, you're doing in the near future guys and uh, all the best and hopefully I'll catch you again in another revision worksheet. Cheers!